Hi, I'm Matt and welcome to the Seeker Quick Start. In this guide, I'll help you get your Seeker from the box to the air. Before getting started, make sure the props are removed. For safety, leave them off till it's time to fly. The first step is to install a battery into Seeker. To install a 3S battery into Seeker, open the battery cage and place the battery in. Make sure the wires for the XC30 connector are facing downwards. Take the balance lead and string it through the top of the locking mechanism. Once all the cabling is out of the way, push the latch down until it snaps into place. Then, on the bottom side of Seeker, connect the two XT30 connectors together and the drone will power on. The next step is to connect to Seeker. There are two methods of doing this. The first is ADB, which is ideal for benchtop development. Plug a USB cable into the voxel cam on Seeker. Then, open up your terminal and type in ADB shell. Alternatively, Seeker will power up as a Wi-Fi access point out of the box. Under Available Wi-Fi Connections, you will see a Voxel access point. Connect to it using the password shown on screen. Then, establish an SSH connection. Seeker's default IP is 192.168.8.1. The password is oelinux123. Once connected, either through ADB or Wi-Fi, the next step is to connect Seeker to QGround Control. To do so, edit the PX4 configuration file using the command shown on screen. You'll want to replace the line that says QGC IP with the IP of the ground station connected to QGC. You can check ifconfig to see what your IP is and enter it into the PX4 file. In this case, my IP is 192.168.8.47, which is the IP I'll be updating the PX4 configuration file with. Once you've updated the file, type in WQ to save and exit, then type in systemctl restart voxel vision px4 to restart voxel's px4 service. If your seeker is equipped with a modem, slide the SIM in as shown now. The other slots are for SD cards for voxel and the flight core integrated into voxel cam. To set up your modem, use the modem configuring utility by opening the terminal and typing in voxel-configure-modem. The 4G modem will require a VPN server to connect to QGC. See our documentation at docs.modelai.com for more information. If you've updated the file with the proper IPs, the drone will automatically connect to QGround Control. Once connected to QGC, the next step is to bind your radio to Seeker. For Spectrum, go under the Radio tab in the QGC settings and click on Spectrum Bind. Select your transmitter and click OK. Then you'll see the orange binding light flashing on your Seeker. When you see the orange light flashing, go ahead and bind your transmitter to Seeker. The specific instructions will vary based on your transmitter, so go ahead and check the Spectrum website for the most up-to-date information. If you're using a different transmitter like FRSky or Graupner, make sure to check their documentation and user manuals for information on binding. Once you've bound your transmitter to Seeker, go ahead and reboot it as shown now. The next step is to calibrate your radio and confirm your RC settings. Go ahead and do the radio calibration following QGC's prompts. For your RC settings, they'll vary based on your use case from the transmitter you are using. Model AI provides some basic configuration files for your convenience which you can find using the link shown on screen or in the description below. The last step before flying is to install the propellers. The propellers on Seeker must be installed in a particular orientation. The propellers are designed to turn inwards when facing the drone. When the propellers are facing you, the blades should slope downwards towards you. If your props have any lettering on them, make sure it faces up. Once the props are on correctly, thread the nuts and tighten using an 8mm wrench. Hold the motors while tightening the props on. They don't have to be on super tight, just to about hand tightness. Before flight, make sure to conduct a thorough safety check of your seeker. Make sure all the connectors and cabling is secure and that they are not loose. Make sure none of the wires are cut, frayed, or damaged. If you have an LTE version, make sure that the antennas are secure and are not loose. Make sure the SD and SIM cards have not popped out. Make sure the receiver is properly plugged in. 
Make sure the cameras are free of any grease, dust, or debris. Make sure the battery you're using is properly charged. And lastly, make sure the props are on correctly and that they're securely attached. Again, double check the props. It's crucial that they're on correctly or they won't generate lift. Again, the propellers are designed to turn inwards when facing the drone. When the propellers are facing you, the blades should slope downwards. Make sure your props are orientated like shown. Once the safety check is complete, conduct your first flight in manual mode to make sure everything works properly and to get a sense of Seeker's flying characteristics. To stream VIO data from Seeker, establish an SSH connection to it. The password is oelinux123. When the drone is in its takeoff position, use voxel-inspect-qvio to stream VIO data. The first three numbers represent your drone's XYZ position in meters from your starting position, and the next three are your drone's roll, pitch, and yaw. As you move Seeker around, you'll see the data update. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions and or if you would like more information on the topics covered, check out our documentation at docs.modelai.com.